So I'm going to select all my extrusions. I'm going to delete my history. I'm going to go to Edit, Delete by Type, History. I'm going to freeze my transformation by going to Modify, Freeze Transformation. And I'm going to also go to Modify, Center Pivot. So now each one of my extrusions, if I go to W, notice that their pivot point has been centered into the actual shapes. So now let's talk about closing these holes right here. I'm going to select these vertices right here, hit F. What I want to do is I want to double click on the edge loop and we can go shift because it's an edge, shift right mouse button and I'm going to go to fill hole. Now the problem with this here is that it's an n-gon, a non-manifold polygon plane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this using my multi-cut tool which is found inside of my modeling toolkit and I'm going to click on the top right here and then I'm going to click at the bottom hit enter and notice that I've split this non-manifold face in half so I went from eight edges for one polygon face down to four one two three and four now I can split this again by going from here and then going to the opposite side hit enter and now notice that I have quads if I go to faces Notice that I have this face here, one, two, three, four edges, four, four, four. Now, if I was to hit three right now, notice that I get a very soft curvature on that face. So this is fine because we're doing a neon tube. So the ends of the neon tubes tend to be smooth and circular. What if we wanted to create a hard edge on this tube? Well, I would have to use the fencing technique. Now the fencing technique is gonna work on this edge loop right here, so if I go to edges, shift, right mouse button, insert edge loop, notice that I can create an edge loop right here and create a really good fencing. However, it's not going to work on these faces right here because Maya does not understand what this face does. When we do insert edge loop tools in Maya, what Maya does is that it looks from one edge to another edge and it creates a connecting edge. This is how insert edge loops works. But here, from this edge right here to this edge right here, we have a middle gap and Maya does not know what to do. So what we're going to do for this is that I'm going to select these faces and I'm going to recreate these faces but with an extrusion technique. I'm going to go to edges, double click on our outer edge right here. Okay, This edge loop has been selected. So I'm going to go to extrude. I'm going to put my gizmo in the middle. This is the button that allows us to put our controller in the average of our entire selection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to thickness. I'm going to see if thickness is what I want to do. No. So I'm going to do is it offset. As you can see, the gizmo has a mind of its own. So what I'm going to do, because I've created an extrusion, I'm going to hit R for scale. And now I'm going to do two scale operations. The first one right here, I'm going to bring this new extrusion to the same thickness as the extrusion on the side. And then I'm going to go and hit G again to repeat the last operation, which is extrusion. Or I can click on extrusion and the extrusion tool will show up again. I've created another extrusion. I'm going to hit R to put my scale tool now in the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this newly created edge with its faces as close as I can to the middle. Right mouse button, select the vertices. Okay, go around, make sure that you did not select any vertices on the opposite side. And we're going to merge these vertices to the center. So shift, right mouse button, merge vertices to center. And now if I hit three, notice that I have a sharp edge for my cap. The problem is that we have triangles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to imitate the shapes of the polygons that I had when I had the fill hole. So I'm going to go to edges and I'm going to select this edge right here. And when I delete it, Notice that now I have a quad, one, two, three, and four. I'm going to do the same thing for the opposite side, delete, delete, delete. And this is how you're able to cap the end of an extruded tube, fencing the edges with both an insert edge loop tool and using the extrusion technique.